things you didn't hear during the election. I promise to deliver a hard Brexit, unless you're not in, and then I'll leave it with your neighbour, which is Europe. I haven't thought that through. <laughs> Taxes will be so low if you vote for me, Jimmy Carr. <laughs> I've got a great plan to save the NHS. First, we leave the EU. Then, we use the extra 350... Huh? <laughs> Can I interest anyone in a free bus? <laughs> I'm gonna create so much new housing. A series of one-room flats with an amazing view of London. Also, unrelated, I'm closing the London Eye. <laughs> well, I am the returning officer, and it's great to be back. <laughs> I am the returning officer. <laughs> Next topic is unlikely lines from a cosmetics commercial. Sorry, has anyone seen the returning officer? <laughs> Any messages? <laughs> Here comes the science. Global warming is real. None of this matters. <laughs> <laughs> This product makes your eyelashes look really big by shrinking your eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> this week's winners are Ted Elias, James A. Carter, and Ed Gamble. Things you wouldn't hear in a nature show. And the reason why geese fly in a V formation is to act as chevrons for airplanes. <laughs> And here we have a tiger happily eating Frosties. Tonight's episode is dedicated to the memory of our cameraman, Charles Frosties. <laughs> <laughs> here we have a woodchuck, also known as a groundhog, prompting the question, how much ground could a groundhog hog if a groundhog could hog ground? <laughs> Unlikely chalup lines. Your father must have been a thief. And I'm going to catch him if it's the last thing I do. Your father's going to press... <laughs> <laughs> Love is blind and so am I. Now let me fill your face so I know you're not a munter. <laughs> if I said you had a nice body, would you hold it against me while I cry on your shoulder? I'm so lonely. God, I'm so lonely. <laughs> My women like I like my coffee. Always getting my name wrong. <laughs> Unlikely lines from a sci-fi film. We shot down one of the flying saucers. And now there's rice paper and sherbet everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's alien versus predator at Sabutio. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Optimus Prime. And today I'm gonna save the world. So you'd be doing me a massive favour if we can move this MOT to tomorrow. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on a political discussion show. See, most people don't realise the bell is called Big Ben and not the clock. But the clock is called Tickety Ted the Time Telling Bitch. <laughs> Vince Cable sitting on a table. Vince Cable sitting on a table. Vince Cable sitting on a table. We've run out of chairs. <laughs> We just stop arguing. Surely we can all agree. Whoever smelt it, dealt it. <laughs> Unlikely things for a continuity announcer to say. It's time for some continuity! <laughs> <laughs> From the makers of Love Island, cul-de-sac orgy. <laughs> we just bought Bake Off, because an anyone can. We're a porn channel. We bought Bake Off. <laughs> just a joke! <laughs> Things a news reporter would never say. In the studio with us today, Vladimir Putin, Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump in what can only be described as a news round exclusive. <laughs> Damn right BBC News is biased. This next story is about how I'm hot to trot and all the ladies want to do me. <laughs> I'm just saying, say spoiler alert next time or something. Some of us want the weather to be a surprise. <laughs> Finally, we've discovered the true identity of Banksy. He is none other than the Stig. 
<laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a TV police show. Put your hands where I can see them. Oh, uh, yeah, those are some sexy hands. <laughs> When forensics arrives, let him know that, as per usual, a lot of the semen is courtesy of yours truly. <laughs> so, well, the bullies in blue. We wanted to be called the Blue Man Group, but that name was already taken by some very talented individuals. <laughs> Things you never hear on daytime TV. Welcome to Smell the Cheese. <laughs> There's no cash in that attic. There's loads of fiberglass insulation. And that... <laughs> Today on Escape to the Country, we're escaping the law, and the country in question is Mexico. <laughs> <laughs>
And yet, <laughs> here we are, slaves forever. <laughs> and no, a UKIP green coalition. It's yeah. great. They, they plant in new trees that, uh, when they grow up, it just says, fuck off home. Yeah. <laughs> Why did no one ask Theresa May that question, given that she's a vicar's daughter? Can't <laughs> catch her in the wheat fields. <laughs> <laughs> The gates. <laughs> <laughs> also, I like the fact he says he's a practicing Christian, and in that photo, he's lit to practicing to be Jesus. <laughs> what is going on here? Is he drawing round his hands to prove the haters wrong? Yeah. <laughs> that does look a little bit like a vagina on the side of his head. I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Trump's very green, man. He is the greenest. He is, out of all the leaders in the whole world, he has done the most to combat global warming. Because, <laughs> let me tell you, that travel ban so that reduces so many people's carbon footprints, it's unreal. <laughs> He's a clever guy. If all of us started banning people from our countries, less people would fly and we wouldn't have a problem on our hands. <laughs> Didn't he remind you of like, the horrible kid at school that everyone hated, but his parents had a swimming pool? <laughs> uh, it was a nice swimming pool. My mum and dad worked hard. <laughs> what new mission has NASA unveiled? It's a mission to the sun. <laughs> yes. How far away is the sun? It's 93 million miles away. 93 million miles away? Yeah. I'll tell you what, <laughs> it's still hot from here. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna... I've got sunburnt in Kettering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They shouldn't be sending stuff near it if it's that hot. I didn't know that. I bought this mission. <laughs> So, you know, we already tins. know what the sun's made of. It's right-wing propaganda and tits. <laughs> I'd like to volunteer to be an astronaut in that case. <laughs> <laughs> one well, thing then. I love is right-wing titties. <laughs> Eight. What is the question? Is it, how old was I when my parents forgot to take me on holiday and I had to defend the house against some burglars? <laughs> Really? How many burglars? And two of them. I had to booby trap the whole place. <laughs> I'm not proud of this. I damn near killed them. <laughs> What's the difference between a podium and a plinth? Well, that is. Well, <laughs> a plinth is the thing a statue is on. You can place yeah. a podium on a plinth, but you can't place a plinth on a podium. That sounds like a tongue twister. <laughs> this is the kind of the Irish wisdom we can all look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you never tell us about them? But because you kept, thank you never, you. You never, this been 12 years or whatever this show's been going for. <laughs> you're just going, ah, you know, all the stuff you normally say that they won't let me fight the robots of robot wars or whatever. <laughs> 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 I just, just give, give me one round. One round where you I know. can fight the robots with a weapon of my choice. <laughs> also, if his eyes are where the slit is in that helmet, he's got a fucking weird head. <laughs> Why he wears the bucket? Yeah. If, if he did it, he'd be very self-conscious yeah. about that. He's got this he's huge, not... weird pencil-shaped head. <laughs> he's you know, just like at the top, like a couple of antennas. He he did, did, he, I'd have to put a bucket over this, otherwise people won't take me seriously. <laughs> I reckon he's got there, a lot of letters in his head. That's all I know. Yeah. So he gets other people's votes. He just sits there in the. Uh, <laughs> 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 did I just? Did that one just talk to me? <laughs> <laughs> Head, I swear to God. <laughs> Trump's got to be careful with all these lies, man. You, it gets you in trouble. There's a, let me tell you a story, Dara. <laughs> I'm always happy for a, a story. A little time. boy named Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> he was a little wooden puppet who came to life because he was possessed by a demon. And, <laughs> and he would go around and he would lie to everyone because uh, of the devil. And then these, all the villagers. They put him on a bonfire and they, <laughs> they burnt his soul to ash. And Trump should learn, you never trust a puppet. <laughs> I, think I think we've all learnt an oh. important lesson there. <laughs> you yeah. fucking idiot. <laughs> version of the Bible. Yes. <laughs> the entire time. In the beginning. No. <laughs> the most American man I've ever met was a man who was called Randy Yanker. <laughs> Genuinely called Randy Yanker. People don't know this, but Hugh used to be a porn star. <laughs>
<laughs> What's going on here? The job he's wearing that vest, isn't it? Because it's the first time he's been highly visible since the election campaign. <laughs> <laughs> also, good job he's wearing that hard hat. <laughs> I can't believe Henry VIII's back. <laughs> That's probably the largest surprise. I was surprised enough when Blair got back into politics. <laughs> but the fact that Henry VIII's making a comeback, that should be the headline. I don't know why no one's making a fuss about it. <laughs> not this. This isn't boring. This is lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what's not boring. Henry VIII is back. <laughs> He's sort of late, yeah. Nobody cares. I mean, eating wild balls 24-7. <laughs> Nobody is getting ice cream, but I didn't do anything. Okay, you get ice cream. Wait, that's not fair. Okay, everybody gets ice cream. What, honey? Okay, nobody gets ice cream. <laughs> I want ice cream. <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I want raspberry ripple. Uh, no, there's I'd one. Like we're getting... Sorbet? Fine, we'll just nip back to the 70s and get you some. <laughs> 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 Bit of Ben and Jerry's now. Uh, Henry the Eighth's back, Ed. <laughs> we need to put the power back in the hands of the people. Yeah. I don't want no EU telling me what to do. I even want the government telling me what to do. It would be us, the people. I say, each day, different one of us takes it in turns to be in charge. <laughs> each day, we do whatever we want, and that's true democracy. Take it in turns to be a dictator. <laughs> what, uh, what happens on your day? Uh -huh. yeah. what, what, what happens on my day? Two words. Raspberry, ripple. <laughs> uh, the answer is zero. What is the question? How many times did the borrowers actually return the stuff I supposedly borrowed? <laughs> is it, despite my best efforts, how many people have told me on the wind beneath their wings? <laughs> if you move there at 79, I will have been dead for quite a long time. I'll attend your funeral, Hugh. I'll give a speech. I'll say, Hugh always told me I was the wind beneath his wings. <laughs> In other news, what have doctors in the UK warned about? Henry the X back. <laughs> I've been massive hypochondriac, big time. My doctor hated me, this guy. One time, I remember him looking at me, I was standing there, and he went, that is your hip. <laughs> <laughs> Were you going, this, it's sticking out? Yeah, it this was bit... exactly what I was doing. Really? <laughs> he said that as a joke just then. I was literally going, what, this is sticking out? Wait, and he was like... Uh, it's free you... great. <laughs> that you, is your you... hip. <laughs> have you noticed you've got one on the other side? But if you're a hypochondriac for long enough, eventually you are convinced that something's you haven't got a normal a normal D. <laughs> so I was like, you've got to look at it. She said, and I've checked with other doctors about this, and apparently they've said this is not standard protocol. She said, I can't look at that on my own. I've got to get someone else in. So she got, and this is definitely not on, the receptionist. <laughs> <laughs> she came in, showed it to both of them. The receptionist had no comment to make whatsoever. <laughs> the doctor said, that's fine. I was like, because I was like, I don't want to ever come back here again. I was like, are you sure? She went, I'll get another doctor in. So a third person came in, and it was the guy who I'd shown my hip to. <laughs> And he came in and he, he took one look at me and was like, oh, of course it's you. <laughs> <laughs> the only you would have three people in here looking at your dick. <laughs> and he, he grabbed it, very specifically went, that's fine. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I am never going to the doctor's ever again. <laughs> and that's how I got cured of it eventually, because I just felt so humiliated. Also, it's very difficult to go to the doctor's again when the receptionist has seen your penis. <laughs> <laughs> is that this legal battle with yep. a man versus a monkey has taken two years yep. mm. and we think we can sort out Brexit in less time than that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it only took two years because his lawyer was a slot. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> uh, Chewbacca finally joining the dark side. <laughs> You're saying you are exactly what I don't want for Brexit. I want no strings attached. <laughs> Hugh started his own applause break. You might want to take note. <laughs> you earn them or nothing. That's it, right? Uh, How suppose. did it feel then when you said that bit and there wasn't an applause at the end? It must have felt <laughs> awful. It felt real. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you wrote it. I'm glad you wrote that article. Because for too long now, we've all been wondering, what does Boris Johnson think about Brexit? <laughs> It's such a elusive figure, you Google it and it comes up dry every time. 
This is a gangster move, man. I respect him for it. Mm. Fair play. <laughs> lie, get exposed for it, and do the same lie to the same people without batting an eyelid. What <laughs> an absolute gangster. <laughs> Yes. Well, the first thing to go would be the Aztec zone. <laughs> <laughs> Sling your hook, you foreign scum! <laughs> I think he'd be a great Prime Minister. Hmm? I, I think he'd be, Vince Cable take us all the way up to the top. And it might be shaky at some times and maybe dangerous, but once we reach the summit, we'll skip... I'm thinking of cable cuts. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great he keeps testing nuclear weapons. I don't know why everyone's complaining. The more he tests, the less he's got. <laughs> Definitely photo of the year. This is, if not of, 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 all, of all time, this, <laughs> I just adore this. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the finished job that the kid did? Oh, well, I'm not impressed with the job no, so far. Just, no, no. The finish, no, if, it makes sense. If you see it as an aerial shot, right. he mowed in, uh, I voted for Hillary. <laughs> Fat nappies and condoms. What is the question? Is this the most we can hope to walk away with from Brexit negotiations? <laughs> Is it what are the three worst nicknames I had at school? Mm. <laughs> oh, look, there is nicknames now. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's actually our team left to right. Yeah. <laughs> is it happy to be that one? <laughs> a sewage workers in East London have discovered a giant mass of congealed fat underground. It's thought to be one of the biggest ever. At 250 metres long, the fat berg is estimated to weigh 130 tonnes. <laughs> And workers think it will take three weeks to clear. I'm so proud of it. My whole life, all I've done, dedicated my whole life to try and make the world's biggest fatberg ever. And every day I wake up, I'll just get a big vat of oil and I'll just tip it down the shower drain. I'll shout, grow, fatberg, grow! <laughs> every morning that people come round, I'm like, you got any nappies? You flush them down the toilet! <laughs> Do you watch the news? I'll be big one day. And now, finally, the fat burgers happened, and I've made my mark in history. <laughs> <laughs> Who is trying to get a piece of this fat burger? The, mu the Museum of London. Yes. <laughs> they won't get the fat burg. They're going to find themselves in a bidding war with yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to buy that fat burg, and guess what? I'm going to flush it all down the toilet again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, because fat burg was your nickname at school. <laughs> It truly was. I know. Uh, it was baldy. <laughs> <laughs> baldy. 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 I did not look like a 45 year old man at school. <laughs> no, I did not. You didn't, I didn't know, know me. But he did. It, it, it didn't look like a 45 year old man. It looked like a fat bird. <laughs> <laughs> so, moving on. Who annoyed British holidaymakers over the weekend? Foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> Just milling around these foreign places. Oh, no, they're here as well. <laughs> <laughs> it does make sense. If they messed up when the pilots have their holiday, why not just fun up when the pilot wants to go on holiday and they can fly that plane to that place? <laughs> What's going on here? He's, he's using the app Find My Glasses. <laughs> I definitely know which side of the equation wants it to be white. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people there went, oh, as if, like, they're the victims. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have a go at the racist. <laughs> <laughs> that won't make it in. <laughs> <laughs> what initial plan for, for Corbyn's arrival? Do they oh, scrap? Oh, he was going to walk on water. Yes. <laughs> that is literally true. Mm. They were going to do a trick where it looks like... So he looked like... It was going to look like it was walking on water like, like Dynamo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Just copying Dynamo, the first person who did it. It's offensive. I would have liked it if he was just on a big inflatable crocodile. <laughs> just, just... <laughs> so excited for Dwayne The Rock Johnson to get involved in Brexit. If The Rock oh. got involved in Brexit, I would apologise to all the Leave voters so quick. <laughs> <laughs> right, this was a great idea. I love you all. Yeah. <laughs> what does having a square head signify? It's, it's more sexualised than people with round heads. Yes. Isn't it? Have you ever seen the programme Eggheads? <laughs> None of them are sexy. No. <laughs> it's a program that could never appear on. Absolute dweebos. <laughs> My nickname at school, amongst many others, one of them was Snowplow. Because <laughs> <laughs> he loved yeah, cocaine. No, no. <laughs> Here 
Jamie Curtin's absolutely coat off his nut again. Yeah. Morning registration. <laughs> if you pushed me through along the playground on a snowy day, the chin would scoop up the snow and it would all funnel. Oh, so the, the snow would go up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> the story you're telling yes. us. <laughs> the answer is 40,000. What is <clears throat> the question? At school, I had some fake Adidas bottoms. You could tell they were fake because they had how many stripes on each leg? <laughs> <laughs> is it how many M&Ms would I have to put in a row to spell... Mmm... <laughs> How many of my Facebook friends turned out to be my mum trying to make me feel better? <laughs> so was, I, quite, I like the idea of elegantly whizzing through town. It's ruined yeah. by the fact that I keep kneeing myself in the face. Now you know how Boris feels. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> On a daily basis, Aww. constantly hitting himself in the face. <laughs> <laughs> they shouldn't have folded. They shouldn't... I'm glad that they folded, man. I'm glad that the whole company's done... Now the marketplace is wide open for my business. Learner, L-R-N-R. And basically what it is, is the drivers are all learner drivers with provisional licences. <laughs> and you can only get a ride if you yourself own a full driving licence. <laughs> yeah. And that way we don't have to pay the drivers because it's all experience. <laughs> <laughs> My mum, for example, it cannot turn on an induction hob. It does not turn on because her fingers, her circulation is so bad, her fingers are too cold. <laughs> Your mum's been dead for years. <laughs> Yeah. But I was thinking it would be, it would be We all went and... to a funeral, Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't let it go, mate. Were we sat in this formation? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry, by the way, to your mother. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> lovely woman, I've met a few times. Lovely woman. Lovely woman. And dead as hell. Dead, dead. <laughs>